Thursday, July 20th, 2.31 p.m. New York time. Good afternoon. This is a review of the day trade I did today, this morning, using options on the S&P 500. It's a credit spread, and they were options that expired today. Looking here on the desktop trading platform, Thinkorswim, six grids. The top three grids are daily, and have the three major stock indexes I watch for this trading strategy. Top left, SPX. Top center, NASDAQ 100, and the top right, Dow Jones does show average. So currently the market's still open. The S&P 500 down, lower high, lower low, red candle. NASDAQ 100 down, lower high, lower low, red candle. Big sell off. And the Dow Jones industrial average, green candle, higher high, higher low, new high for the year. But I use the options on the S&P 500s. Looking here on the bottom, I have the bottom right, 30 minute, bottom center, 15 minute, the bottom left, five minutes. I had a bearish bias mindset from overnight because the futures were down. And then look at the cash market. I was leaning more bearish bias because the futures market, I'll leave it on here. The futures market was staying below the overnight open, being more bearish bias. So when I place the trade, you're going to see it in a moment, but this is 30 minute candles here. This first green candle was not completed yet. So I was watching it, decide what to do. Watch here on the 15 minute candle. This first 15 minute candle was 9.30 AM to 9.45. Yep. I saw a big wick on the top, leaving more bearish bias, but I didn't enter early. See this green candle, I mean, see this red candle, small body, small trading range, wick on top, leaving more bearish bias. So when that one got done, I placed the shorts. Bear call spread. My short strike was the 455. The delta was 46. Yeah, it was aggressive, 46. So originally I had loaded up and ready to the 456 here. That was the one I was looking to do because typically I want to use the strike that's, well, for this example, I want to do a strike that's above the high for the day. So this was the high of the day, but it was just a few pennies high. So I moved it down to the lower strike. The lower strike gave me more premium collect. That's more money I'm collecting. And after I got in, panic selling. It went down real fast. I already had a working order on. As soon as I got filled, I put a working order. So it closed real fast too. I said I got in at 10 o'clock. I closed at 10.17. Let's go to the five minute. Here we go to five minute. That's where I went. Enter trade, yellow arrow, and got closed out here. And now it's down lower. So if I kept the trade open, well, I would have had more gains. And again, I needed to stay below my short strike, which is 455. So if it stays below here, when the market closes, well, then it would be max gain. Mm -hmm. And you can see what happened here. When it went down, again, these are five-minute candles. It reversed. That reverse could have continued going back up. These are concerns I have for day trading because things don't continue going in one direction. Mm -hmm. So part of my setup was here when I was watching the five minutes, I saw this yellow candle inside, solid body equivalent to a red. I was like, yep, that looks like it's going to be the trigger. That red candle came. It didn't have the impact move down yet. Nope. But let's look at this five, 10, 15, those first three green candles, the first team, these first green candles, three with a 15 minute. Again, they were bearish in my perspective. Big wicks on the top, small little bodies with like distribution. And then you had that one more pump. They pumped it up, went above here. So people might have been stopped out short. That big green candle, well, not big green candle, but green candle. So then again, this inside candle couldn't even take out the high. Yeah, so it looked like the bulls had no more strength to squeeze the shorts anymore, pump it up. And that was giving me much more stronger opinion, being bearish bias. Like I said, that's a solid candle, equivalent to a red. And that also, after that got done, 
I decided, like I mentioned, move my short strike down from the 456 to the 455. And then I placed the trade. It took a few seconds to get filled. So the price I had set at was like the mid price, but then things started to move real fast. So I needed to bounce back. I needed adjusted it. I could have got filled sooner, but I had a certain dollar amount I wanted to collect. So as it went up and down the prices, it went back and hit my price, got filled, which again, that was a better price I got filled out. Because if I let it do its determination, I would have got filled a few dollars lower, collected less premium. So it's good that I sat on my hands. And then look at this, huge panic selling, retracement down lower. So again, there was a fast trade, much faster than the past few days, which had me sitting like half a day. So I'm a happy camper. It worked out well. Again, got in at 10 o'clock, closed at 10, 17. That's what I like. Fast trades in my direction. It was all one way. Because if you look at my past videos, you see the past few days, they were winners, but they took quite a bit of time to work yeah, for day trading.